What's up guys, I'm Jared, and today we're talking about aliens, woo! But before we get into the news, I gotta give a shout out to my man Odin and the amazing team at the Children's Wish Foundation. Odin wants to make his dream of going to Disneyland come true, but he needs your help. Just click the link down below, which will include all the details, and any donation is definitely appreciated. As always, you gotta be sure to stick around until the end of the video, where I'm gonna be answering some of your questions or comments from a previous video I did. But let's talk about aliens, cause that's why you guys came here. So NASA's Curiosity rover, which has been chilling on Mars since August 6th of 2012, may have stumbled upon an alien egg. On October 27th, 2016, Curiosity was driving around top down and all, probably bumping some Drake, when scientists noticed the black shiny object that resembles a possible egg. Now I'm sorry if I'm about to burst your bubble, but it actually does not turn out to be an egg in this case. Spoiler alert I guess? Although NASA scientists are calling it the egg rock, tests have confirmed that it is almost definitely a meteorite and is made up of mostly nickel and phosphorus. With that being said, this is still very insightful to NASA because they're able to compare how long exposure to the environment on Mars affects meteorites compared to that on Earth. Although it doesn't necessarily mean that aliens are real or not, or that Mars is inhabitable, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Curiosity ChemCam team member Horton Newsom said, Iron meteorites provide records of many different asteroids that broke up, with fragments of their cores ending up on Earth and on Mars. Mars may have sampled a different population of asteroids than Earth has. So that's pretty cool, a little science news for you guys today. With that being said, for all we know, this meteorite could have fallen on Mars millions of years ago, and to determine how long the egg rock has been on Mars, scientists will be comparing its interior to its exterior. Depending on what the inside or outside of the rock looks like, or egg if that's what you want to call it, and how intact and or destroyed it possibly is, scientists should be able to make an estimation on what they think is going down. The reason for this mission in the first place was to determine how Mars's environment has changed over hundreds of thousands or possibly even millions of years. Originally the mission was launched in November of 2012, Curiosity would then land in August of 2012 on Mars and provide enough evidence for researchers to determine that a specific area of Mars was once favorable for microbial life to possibly live. That does not however confirm whether or not there ever actually was any life on Mars, which include aliens. But as of now, the rover is in good condition, even though it's been on its mission much longer than originally anticipated. After realizing that their 23 month plan wasn't enough time for researchers to realize they needed some more time on Mars, the team at NASA decided to see how long Curiosity would be willing to help them. And the answer is clearly a while, considering how only two of its 10 scientific instruments are just now showing signs of slowing down. According to NASA's official website, a tool that determines some environmental factors isn't working 100%, and the neutron generating component is also acting up just a little bit. However, the neutron component was designed to work through the primary mission and is still functioning well enough to determine if there are water molecules in the ground on Mars. So that's pretty legit. As always, you gotta let me know all your thoughts, comments, and questions by leaving me a comment down below. Although there is yet to be enough evidence that there is in fact life on Mars, this is just another step closer to seeing if we could possibly move there when Donald Trump destroys the world. And if you get triggered by that comment, well just drop me a comment down below telling me how much you hate me and how bad Hillary is going to be. Alright guys, now I'm going to be answering some of your comments and questions as I always do. So let's see what we got here. In the video we did about a possible male birth control, Night Ray said, what shoes does Jared wear? I usually wear Nikes right now. I'm wearing some Nike Airs. I don't even know if you can see that. I'm not flexible really, but these are Nike Airs. Air Max. Sorry, Charlotte. Caramel said, first one, let's get it. An amazing video like always. Yeah, again, I don't know why it's important to be first, but thanks for saying amazing video. We appreciate that. Jade and Anthony said, Jared, are you afraid of needles? And Jeremy Deathbatch said, I for one don't like shots. Do you? I don't like needles. No, they're just, they hurt. It's like stabbing your arm with something, so no, I don't I don't like that. Now a user named Jared Bronstein, who also uses my picture, commented, my man Jared, and how long are you letting your hair grow, loving it as is? Well I appreciate that you like my hair, but uh, I just wanna let you guys know that isn't my account. My account is Jared Bronstein, but not the one that's commenting on my own videos. So I just wanted to let you guys know, that is not my official account. My official account has a different picture of me, not the black and white one. And I just thought I would clarify that because I didn't want you guys thinking I made my own fan account. I don't even know if it is a fan account or just someone pretending to be me. I don't really know. But uh, it's not me. So subscribe to them if you want to, but you could also subscribe to me. But neither of us have videos, so it really doesn't matter. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Again, drop me that comment question down below, and I'll see you guys soon.